Hi everyone, let's understand what do you mean by autocorrelation and how we can measure this autocorrelation and what are the uh, procedure, how we can remove this autocorrelation. So first of all, we would understand by the term autocorrelation. Autocorrelation means when the variable values are correlated to each other. That is known as autocorrelation. Let's say we have at the time series uh, data we have for FDI or GDP. And in both these values, we can say uh, GDP values itself, they are correlating to each other. Means uh, these uh, GDP values from the past year, they are correlated to each other. That is autocorrelation. But autocorrelation, it is dangerous when um, error term having autocorrelation. Error term, it should be random. But when it is not random, it is showing consistency that that is there is correlation. That means it there is we can call it autocorrelation. And this autocorrelation that must be removed before proceeding further. Otherwise, results would be biased. And we cannot trust on those are the regression results are coming up. These would not be trustworthy. So how we can remove this autocorrelation? So might be possible one of any variable that should be independent variable, but here is that is not independent variable that is coincide with the error. And now this error is error term is reflecting autocorrelation. So this autocorrelation not by error term, it is by this particular variable behavior. So if moment we will remove or we can detach or we can separately uh, identify this particular independent variable that is already merged with error term. So this autocorrelation problem would be removed. So first of all, we would understand what do you mean by autocorrelation and how we can measure this through in e-views. Let me delete this data. That is the old one. Quick. First of all, we would estimate one equation and in this equation, I am going to take GDP as uh, my dependent variable and this is my constant and after that, I am going to take inflation and inflation is my independent variable and let me check. So now you can see these are the values and here is you can see. Darwin Watson statistics that is reflecting 0 0.545, it means there is autocorrelation. Because autocorrelation, when the Darwin Watson value is 2, that means there is no autocorrelation. But when Darwin Watson value, it, that is in between 0 to 2, that means there is positive, positive autocorrelation. And when the values are 2 to 4, in between 2 to 4, that means there is negative autocorrelation. So in this problem statement, we have Darwin Watson statistics are reflecting there is correlation because values are less than 2. Now, how we can remove this autocorrelation problem? Let me, I will, I'm just showing you one example of when there is no autocorrelation. In the independent one variable, we have to check again quick estimate equation and uh, what we have to do GDP GDP then constant term then I'm going to take only FDI I'm going to take FDI and uh, FDI yes of course and then press ok now you can see what are the results here is you can see Darwin Watson value is 2.02 that means we can say there is no autocorrelation why? Because value is equivalent to 2. So there is no autocorrelation in this particular variable. Now, we have checked with inflation, there is autocorrelation problem is existing. So what we have to do, simply, we would like to remove this, that value. First of all, let me GDP and constant term and I will take inflation. And uh, in this inflation, let me just open this. And I have already shown you, these are the values. There is the autocorrelation. We have to go to view. We will go to residual diagnostics and serial correlation. And after that, here is we will take just one. 
and after that we are going to press ok and now you can see what are the values you can see serial correlation LM test it is reflecting probability values 0 0.005 and 0 0.0012 that is reflecting yes because null hypothesis said if the p value it is greater than 0 0.05 that means we can say there is or there is no autocorrelation but when the p value is less than 0 0.05 that means there is autocorrelation problem is is existing and in this uh, in these values you can see F statistics here is probability values less than 0 0.05 that means we uh, null hypothesis is rejected and alternate hypothesis saying there is autocorrelation problem is existing. So now what we have to do simply what I will do I would add on one more variable in this equation one variable let's say I am adding FDI and after that we can see we can check whether the autocorrelation problem is existing or not. Now you can see when we had added one more variable now you can see Darwin Watson there is no autocorrelation because value is 2. Simply we will check stats and um, further we can add on one more variable that is inflation and now we will check no okay fine already we have taken that one as well yeah we have to take one more that is the one more variable we have added then we would press okay now again we can see there is no autocorrelation because values are nearby two values are nearby Two. So, we can say there is no autocorrelation problem. But if you have autocorrelation problem, you can measure with the help of Darwin Watson statistics. And as I said earlier, Darwin Watson statistics, if there is the value is 2, that means there is no autocorrelation. If the value is in between 0 to 2, there is positive autocorrelation. When the value is 2 to 4 then there is negative autocorrelation. But in this case, there is no autocorrelation. Darwin Watson value is uh, are very good, is nearby 2. And uh, how we can remove it? As I had explained you, we have to add on one new variable. So autocorrelation problem can be sorted out. Can be, we can remove this. I'm sure this video is helpful to you. Thank you. Keep watching. Stay tuned.